YouTube is King Grimlock back for another Grim Graham and first off, as ever, a little bit of housekeeping. Yes, that's right, we're going to continue on with our countdown to AA reviewer viewers of viewer request sessions. That is correct, we're going to carry on with this request from Full Metal Luffy, Linky Linky Linky, of Energon Shock Blast, the triple changer from Energon. Now, we all know how much I hate Energon, except for the Superlink Score Paranoc, which I just reviewed a couple of days ago, which is, you know, immensely good. Um, and this guy is, of course, my classic stand-in for Shock Wave, um, because he's purple one-eyed people eater, really, is the main reason. And what you actually get is quite a hefty looking tank. This is just one of the three modes. He's a triple changer, just like his, uh, Scorponok buddy was. Um, he has a full rotating turret. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get it out of the way. It's a damn lazy, ugly tank mode. I cannot abide this sort of thing. While this guy looks fabulous in robot mode, he actually looks really good in his second alt mode. In this mode, he just looks like they've gone, uh, you know what we can configure him into? We can kind of get a tank out of this, because he's got a big cannon. Yeah, he's just folded up. The hands, the, the hair, you know, it's just his legs brought together and his backpack folded up for wheels. It's really poor. I can't, I really don't like this mode. I never display it in this mode, because it's just ugly. You know, yes, it's got this rotating and, blah, you know, and, mm, 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 and if I had the, it's just horrible. It's lazy, it's, this is one of the reasons I dislike Energon is for this sort of thing. The fact that this really feels like a half assed third mode that they had to put in there because the second mode, the satellite mode, wouldn't really be playable enough. Um, yeah, you've got, I haven't got the missile and the light and sound don't work so I can't be bothered. But yeah, you've got that feature where it all powers up. But you know, again, it does pretty much nothing. Um, I don't, I've never worked out what this bit's for underneath. Um, it doesn't really support anything there. It can't really fit in there. Satellite mode, he doesn't stand up, so what the hell's the point? And robot mode, that's his arm. Um, yeah, poor. <laughs> Detail's nice, you know, you've got sculpted detail on the tracks, but it's just been picked out by metallic purple on the internal bits rather than actually picking out any of the tracks. It's still just all the moulded uh, colouring. Um, as I said, the gun's all right. Um, does it, it's just a re I can't get past how lazy this mode is, really. It doesn't give you anything. It doesn't... I can see why, you know, they'd have a mode for kids to play with. You know, you've got turning wheels, five wheels on it, which is nice when you go, I don't care. And I've probably transformed it a bit wrong, but you know what? It's so half-assed and lazy that I can be half-assed and lazy with it. I'm going to get to the satellite mode, because you know what? That deserves having some time lavished upon it. And there's Shock Blast in his satellite mode, um, or the closest approximation as I can get to it. These, these limbs sort of flap down in various different directions, and you can kind of have them splayed or any which way. But um, it's hard to get them on screen, actually, because... He's just massive in this mode. Unfortunately, of course, there is no way to display him. It would be nice if this said panel maybe, I don't know, flipped down and you could, it would support him, but it won't. Um, but what we have is that we have all these gold details, these cr chrome gold details that have been painted on, um, which are hidden in panels inside the legs, just to give you an idea where they are, um, and on under the wheels and things like that in these parts. And they just ooze, you know, it's just a beautiful satellite piece. And you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me as if the inspiration for um, movie Soundwave has come from this mode. Because he looks fantastic as a satellite. And I love the way his head up here is focused down through, as if he was looking down on, oh, you can't really see from this view, unfortunately. As if he was looking down all the way through the telescope into uh, into the satellite view. Uh, let's say, there are various m ways of displaying the limbs you can have you know any way up i really like this mode i just wish there had been a way for me to display it either hanging up or whatever i like the fact that the the feet which is what they are front of the tank have these boosters that you can kind of you know use as rockets for stabilizing the satellite if you wish they have boosters on the other side there but you know they're the nicer ones um, you know, you can use them as stabilizers for the satellite. Get that foot out of the way, it'd be useful. Uh, yeah, stabilizers for the satellite, which is a nice thing. Um, I love that, again, inside the arm, gun arm, is the chromed area for, I uh, no solar power or whatever he's up there for. He looks like a big solar satellite or something. that would absorb all the power through these beautiful chromed areas and these beautiful solar panels and charge it out and fire it down through this 
massive cannon, and he's got more of the the same um, detailing on the inside of the Energon parts as well. He's just a really good mode, and uh, to be honest, I'd have been happy if this had been his only mode. If they'd have got rid of things like all these tracks and sculpted in better legs or um, sculpted in more detail for this mode um, and got rid of some of the, the tank-esque features to it, because this is just a fully Fully successful mode, looks really good, might be slightly mistransformed, I do apologise, I don't have the instruction manual, so I'm just doing the best I can. Uh, and you know what, I, I love it, I love this mode. There is something about the detailing on it, the fact they're bothered to sculpt out, all of those are raised, they're not just sort of painted on in the same way that these are. But even this, that's just painted, it's all sculpted detail, every single part of it is actually sculpted in. Um, which is just an immense amount of work and effort that they put into making this guy look as nice as possible. Even on the inside of that, yeah, there's some lazy areas where they sort of just haven't filled the plastic. All this would have been good if it was filled and solid, but, you know, that seems to be uh, a want of Hasbro these days to, especially around the energy on here, actually, to sort of cut out as much plastic as possible and make parts hollow if they could. Uh, but what we have there, there you go, you've got a decent view of the engine on the spark crystal, the uh, Decepticon faction symbol there. And... <laughs> He's nice in this mode, he's just so nice. There is something different about him. There's something something that you've got to go, you know, I don't see many satellite formers, and this is really this is really what a good one should look like. Um, you know, I think it's the first one, and guess what? They did it right. Um it'd be nice if he had a mode where you could stand him up or hide him away, you know, have him suspended somewhere, I mean maybe a bit of string around his backside and just hold him up there. But I am ultimately pleased by this. I'm ultimately pleased to have picked it up to have this mode. Um, but let's crack on to what we really are buying this guy for. Which is, of course, Energon Shock Blast in his robot mode. And let's just say he's supposed to be Shockwave, really, isn't he? Um, I don't know why they lost the rights to saying Shockwave. Um, because there is our Mr. One-Eye with those lovely antenna, those articulated... On this guy, antenna, fantastic. Yeah, just a beautiful figure. A beautiful, big, chunky figure. Works as Shockwave quite nicely. Um, the arm cannon is immense. It could have done with some, I don't know, not being there. Or possibly articulation, or I don't know, something else. It's just a bit big. Um, the other arm isn't fantastic either. It's very simplistic, just with that bit of the claw. Um, nice articulation to it, though. And you do, of course, have two big guns. Though, it's just lacking somewhat... Um, an overall f polish, but as an Energon piece, it's actually rather good. Detailing is fantastic. I love the uh, Decepticon symbol in there. Um, it's actually a very nice representation of his um, of the car the version from the Energon uh, fil uh, film, the Energon uh, show, whose character was very different from Shock Shockwave, even though he was the same sort of takeover. He wasn't logical. He was just a bit of a madass. But what we do get is old One Eye, the old One Eye purple people eat or whatever you call it in really good graphic detail that fits almost almost well into the line he's pretty kibble free this backpack is a little you know it is kibble but you know what it fits in it gives him a little bit of bulk and sort of helps even out this massive massive cannon on his arm his legs are good and sturdy and chunky as well you know there is very little actually wrong with him uh, sculpted detail on the feet very nice and all over, but you know, we've seen everything from the other modes. There's nothing hidden away in the modes. Um, he's just sort of, he is just reconfigured configured in this way. And because of that, that's why I like the backpack, is because it sort of adds something different to it, adds a new shape to the actual toy. I suppose when you've got anything with a cannon that's almost as tall as he is, you're always going to struggle to come up with different um, appearances for it and anywhere to bloody hide it. Um, and they do a fairly good job overall of everything you can with Shock Blast. Lose the rather appalling uh, tank mode and you have a decent, you know, decent toy. He's a triple changer so you're going to have those problems, but in all, more than happy with it. You can pick them up, they cost a fair bit because we haven't had a, a universe, a chug one yet. Uh, when we get a chug one, this guy will drop in price massively, I imagine. Um, and when we get a chug one, I'll be replacing this guy with him. But until then, I'm more than happy to have this as my shockwave. <laughs> 